All right, I got it now. It's on. All right, see ya. We should have ham and salami. I need pepperoni and salami. Well, all right, well, I'll text you. I need to just keep me informed of that. All right, love you, bye.
There's a reason why it was brought out. Cold? <laughs> Somebody had it on a pan. Um, down there. It was on a pan. Fuck! 
Good. 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 Okay. 
Having between the innings music. Uh... Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Pump it through the sound system out there. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's cute when they're like, man, can. They're all softball. <laughs> yeah. After, you know.
That's right here on the little box. Okay, right I see it. There. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm at 13. There we go, I think I hit 14. It's too small for my eyeballs. Right. What are you playing, Candy Crush? No, I'm looking at the schedule exactly. I play, <laughs> can, I play Candy Crush, though. Well, so we'll give you the standings and, and it does the run differential and yeah. everything, so. Okay. I'm at one, I'm a level 165. No, 167. On one of the flight, attend, like we were on a flight, um, and she said she was on level 357 and plays it all the time. And I'm like, holy smokes. I don't know how you get that far because I, once I got this high, I used to play a lot. Well, not a ton, but enough. And once you get that high, it gets so hard that after like a couple, I don't even want to play. She buys her turns. Like that's how oh, addicted she is. Oh, hell with that. Yeah. She said she spent over a hundred dollars so far on buying turns. That's crazy. I get enough friends. Like I was up to forty extra men. Wow. That's when I was had to get done. I was up to forty extra men from friends. I did them all, <laughs> and I still didn't beat the board. And I'm just like, this is stupid. <laughs> so now I just play when I'm bored. Yeah, I know. I haven't played it yet. I'm afraid to because I know it's very. Right. I bought I bought the Vita when it first came out. And I played it maybe a week. Candy Crush? No, the uh, PlayStation Vita. Yeah. I played it. Never play, quit playing it. Then I started traveling, going to town, and you know, we'd be in the hotel and yeah. be bored, and I didn't want to carry, you know, my PlayStation Three or Four with me. So I was like, well, "Where's my Vita? Let me find it." And then I have started playing it again. Like it goes everywhere now. Like it's, <laughs> you know, set dinner. Yeah, but so that's the newer version of the PSP. Yeah. I mean, I like it because it's touch screen, and then this right here is a, uh, it's like a, a touch pad. So like, if you're playing a game, some games you can rub your finger on the back and do a certain command and so that's pretty neat when the PSP first came out my older son was 10 and we were in a tournament yeah. and uh, his mom said uh, so why don't you get a home run today so what are you doing if they hit a home run she said I'll buy a new PSP boom over the flagpole <laughs> so, so be careful what you uh, wish for there yeah yeah <laughs> I mean, I like it. I, I, you know, what I like about this is if I'm playing a game on the PS3 or the PS4, and if I've got the same game on this, like if I started on this, I can then play it on the P PS4. So like, if I start playing this away from home and then get home, I can turn on the PS4 and resume the game from that spot. Or if I'm playing the PS4 and then I go to leave, I can play this and continue the game. So. You know, where the times, oh, I can't leave, I gotta, yeah. you know, say, get to a point to save it. Now I can leave at any time. What kind of games do you play? Mainly sports. 
I mean, I'll play some of the like role play, like you know, like Drake's Uncharted or yeah. you know stuff like that. You know, Assassin's Creed stuff like that. But mainly, you know, if it doesn't have a ball involved, I normally I get bored, so I stop playing. Yeah, that's what we play at the house. Nathan once in a while play Minecraft, but we normally. He, they all talk me into playing a lot of baseball and football. Right. Yeah, baseball. I mean, it's like my one of my best friends, he he and I used to work together at Bell South years ago. You know. And, uh, you know, he called me the other day and he goes, man, when are we going to get on that Madden? And I said, you got PlayStation Plus yet? He goes, oh, crap, I forgot. Because of PS4s, so now you have to have a membership to play online. Yeah. And uh, I was like, crap, I forgot. He goes, well, Trey has it. And I said, yes, the same. I said, well, I said, you know, you can have multiple, you know, devices on one account. You don't have to have a second. Nice rip. Nice catch. You don't have to have a separate, you know, like Xbox Live, that's the thing I hate. If you have an Xbox, you have to have, an, you know, an account for every Xbox or every user ID. Yeah. For the uh, PlayStation Plus, it's linked to the actual device. Doesn't matter how many accounts you have, it's linked to that device, and you can link up to four other devices. And how much do they charge us for the internet on that? Forty, I think, forty or fifty a year. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not bad. The fact that if you like, if you have multiple, oh, shoot. if you have, probably, if you have multiple, you know, PlayStation products, yeah. they can all be on PlayStation Plus. Okay. So, you know, if you have a PS4, you know, or a Vita, it, or, a, you know, even PS3s, you can have up to, I think, four or six devices on one PlayStation Plus, okay. account, which, you know, I personally like it. Now, the PS4, can you do any of the PS3 stuff on it? No, no that's the only, uh, the only thing I don't like is that there's only about four games that you can play on the PS3. They're from the PS3 to the PS4. I know with the uh, when we got first got the PS3 years ago, you could play PS2. PS2 and and then when the PS3 went down, I called for the warranty thing to, to get it fixed. And they said, well, we'll send you another one, the newer version. Mm -hmm. But you can't do the PS2 on it yeah. with the newer version. So I guess... Uh, they have to do that. <laughs> well, what they're doing now is for the PS4, they're basically developing a cloud. And if you've got a PlayStation Plus account, it's supposed to happen this summer. You can actually like sign into the cloud. Nice. Uh, trouble. It That's might. Trouble. Yeah, I don't That's think trouble. you saw it at first. Good. Catch. Whoa. That's two. Two plays of the day in one inning. Yeah, because that was a great. Because at first he didn't even see it. No. If you thought he was just standing there, like. And he made an over the shoulder catch. <laughs> but they're making a. Uh, like a cloud. So basically you would sign in with your PS4, go to the cloud, and it's all PS. It's a library of PS3 games. Uh, and they haven't announced whether it's going to be free or whether it's going to charge for each game. But basically they're trying to put all the PS3 games there. That way you can play. PS3 on the PS4, but by doing it through the cloud, it'll give you PS4 graphics, but it'll be a PS3 game. So it's like, you know, I'm like, you know, that's a, that's kind of the direction a lot of these games are going now. They want you to, you know, download stuff from clouds and yeah, you know, and Xbox really, I mean, Xbox really pissed a lot of people off when they came out with the Xbox One right before it came out because they made an announcement. That in order to play a game, you had to have a inter constant internet connection, and people were livid. They're like, "Yeah, that's BS. Just to play a regular game, not go online." That's you know. So that a lot of fans protested. Yeah. And they said, "Okay, well, you only need it for updates and the initial setup." Well, we changed it. And I'm like, it "Doesn't matter. You've already, you know, you've already upset it. You know. Yeah. Like, you know, gamers. Once you kind of, you know, like the true hard gamers. Once you, you know, make them upset, they just." They stop. Yeah, I know. I think it's great when I go into GameStop to get my kids games and you just listen to all these people. Yeah. You get oh. to learn a ton because they're like hardcore. I know. We go, we get, our youngest is, he thinks he's hardcore, but he, you know, doesn't know the, you know, he hears bits and pieces and thinks he's an expert and then our computer crashes. And it's, it's funny because we'll go in there and I'll be like, hey, see that kid? what you're going to be you, you know because these kids will come in and they haven't showered 
No, I mess with Nate because he likes Minecraft. That's pretty much the only game he likes that's not, or he, other than like, other than like Call of Duty. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, you're gonna be a nerd if you don't hurt everyone else. <laughs> yeah, we're like, yeah, exactly. like, you see that kid? Do you see that kid? Do you think he's ever had a girlfriend? Yeah, he's 30 years old. I do that with the homeless guys on the side of the street in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. So that guy was a kid, just like you, one day, you know, yeah. one time. <laughs> That's like, you know, they, some of the kids don't realize it. I tell you, I've had such good luck. I never, ever am a proponent of publicizing people, but Sony has been so good to my family. Yeah. The products and stuff out. I buy nothing but the camcorders because I think they're the best. But uh, my mother had a TV. She had it about six, seven years, mm -hmm. and it started having a problem. She lives in West Virginia. I called, and she's like eight. Mm -hmm. I called Sony just because she said she thought she bought an extended warranty. I called him and said, no, the warranty's run out. But uh, we did have an issue with that TV. We'll send you a replacement. No, so Sony's I, been great. I've had a lot of... Sony will fix any. They almost this, guarantee this, anything, no matter how old it is. This yeah. is on Friday. On Tuesday, it's at her front door. Oh wow! And they sent her a next size bigger TV, LED <laughs> version. Okay. Yeah. Well, she had it. This just all recently happened. She had it 11 months, and it started. Uh, <laughs> what was weird is I was able to take the hotspot on my phone because she doesn't have an internet yeah. connection. And I took the hotspot on my phone, connected to Sony, and downloaded all the updates for the TV. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, we couldn't fix it. This is the new TV. Yeah. So they turned around and they don't want to send her another TV. It went the next size bigger 3D. Oh my God. No choice. No, Sony's good. Sony uh, takes I, care I, of their customers. I'm just like, you know, any chance I get a chance to tell people about that, I will, because I mean, that's... No, Sony is really, really, <laughs> really, are you with Diamond Sports Nation? Yeah, I'm the director. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I was watching you go through the website, because it's our first year, we just, I just developed that website. Okay. Use it. So is this kind of your organization? Uh-huh. That's kind of cool. Yep. My kids are uh, college and high school, and travel ball seasons are over for me, so I coached them for all those years, so... Stay in the loop. We started the tournament thing about three years ago, and it's been. Uh, Do you guys play at West Forsyth too? Because I think we've been there with those. Uh huh. Yeah. We won't use that for a few more weeks till seasons, high school seasons over. Yeah. But uh, we primarily use West here in the Legion for the big boys. Okay. And because uh, then the 15s huh? and the 16s will start this? playing also. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the only thing I don't like about West Forsyth that I know is, you know, is that storm warning siren. Oh yeah, we were you know delayed times, for three you were, hours you and that nothing day. happened. You know how many times that's happened in oh, three years? Oh my gosh. That day. We were like, we're rainy and there's no rain. It's there's sunny. no but rain. But you know what, if you're in any high school field, this is not a high school field anymore, but if you're in any high school field, yeah, they have that. They, have that. And they change pictures. If it's within three or five miles, it detects the lightning in three or five miles, it goes off. Yeah, I remember, I remember that. I was so... <laughs> Which team are you guys? No, we were on, we were playing a 15U. We let him play 15U over the summer. Uh -huh. And uh, it was, uh, what was it, Eastside, uh, was the name of the Eastside Tigers? No. We're, we, we, we're on that team. We're on the 14 U Tigers. Yeah. There's another Eastside team. Yeah. So you're doing this and that team? Yeah. Okay. But we're slowly getting away from the Tigers. They haven't, they promised us to be a more competitive team this year and they're not. So, yeah. You see, when you get to 15, if you're. River bats. Yeah, the river bats. Yeah. Which yeah. one's your son then? Jacob, Jacob, the right footer, the leadoff, the leadoff guy. Okay, number twelve. Yeah. See, when you get to fifteen, most of the time you're a freshman, mm -hmm. so you're playing high school ball. Mm -hmm. So when we get fifteen and sixteens, we allow the teams to. You can have, you know you have a mixed roster because reality, if you're going to get better, 
you let your kid play up last year. Yeah. That's who yeah. you're playing against in high school. Yeah. Nine through twelve is high school baseball. Right. So it gives you an opportunity to, to get. We yeah. played summer as soon as the travel ball season ended with us with the Tigers. We went. Well, the thirteen year he went to play fifteen year. And, I mean, he had fun. I mean, it was. I thought it would. I thought he would. My expectations and my hope was that he struggled so that he would. I'll change a few things in his in his you know outlook and mechanics as far as pitching and hitting, but he didn't, and so it kind of he did, and it's going to be reflected this year. You yeah, won't see it last year. That's what happened. And it, and it you know kind of you know I mean he did good you know, but what I wanted to happen was him to struggle a lot so that I could say okay this is what we need to work on, and so I'm hoping this year he struggles so that he'll actually. See well, you know, picks. they're in developmental stages of their life, and what you know, what really goes on with these guys is when you're 10 years old, you don't have to play 55 games of baseball. At 10 years old, you can play a month or so, and that's as good as you're going to get at that age group. Now, you can play another 30 or 40 games at that level, mm -hmm. but every year you got a saturation point. Of, that's as good as you're going to get at that year. Yeah. You have to wait till the next year and, and all that stuff. Like and uh, so you, you don't have to play all those games, but you have to play the games to learn the game. Yeah. And if you're playing good competitive baseball, then... And that's when he started. He started right before his 10th birthday, just playing baseball, period. Did he used to catch mm -hmm. for the 13 year team? Yeah. Okay. Because we played you guys before. Right. Last yeah. summer. Yeah. Yeah, he, um, he was he, the catcher that he was a catcher the catcher the entire tournament. Yeah, and his arm was hurt. Like he yeah, that was in the fall in the uh, fall oh. when uh, on the Knights played over in Kennesaw. No, I played with the Spartans at that time. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Sportsorama. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know the Casins or Casins. Yeah. Yeah. We okay. know them from another team. Yeah, we played in the fall. I mean, in the spring and summer. Well, actually, the summer with them. We didn't play in the fall. I mean, or spring with them. We just decided to go play with them in the summer because they were going down to Panama City. So, yeah, that's what she said. I'm like, no, which was that Terry's team? Or? No, that was um, Donnell Nixon. Donnell's team. Yeah, we went to Panama. We did pretty good. It was pretty. It was fun. That's what she said. It was really fun in Panama. Was. That's what I was a little upset. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Jay if, if they go out and do anything like that. I didn't see it on the schedule, but. It's the, the end of the year, kind of getting away one time, is kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. We like it too. You know where our end of the year was? Huh. Dalton. What? Yeah. Dalton, they went to Myrtle Georgia. Beach last year, the year before. But the well, they, year. They, they went, at 12 years, the Tigers went to Myrtle Beach. And, and for 13 years, I believe so. And for 13 years, they said, you know, we don't want to travel. You know, a lot of parents don't want to travel, so let's just do something close. And I'm like, and I was like, yeah, but there's a tournament. You know, there's a tournament in, um, you know, there's a tournament here, there's a tournament there, you know, let's go there. It's not that far, it's far, you know, and, oh, uh, you know, so we went to the doctor. Yeah, you know, Panama was like six hours, but it was a blast. I mean, yeah. we literally had a blast that whole week. That's right. We even all kind of got, a lot of us got, like, two extra days and just had a had yeah. fun, hang out at the beach, just had a good time. I'll tell you, Nashville's not from about four hours away. That's not a bad place to go either. No, I like Nashville. That's uh, not on a lot of people's radar playing baseball, but we used to go there. Good job. We usually do well. The late student who went out to that pretty kid. Yeah, I am. It's hard to beat the Cooperstown experience, though. No, no, that's a good experience. <laughs> well, that's, you know, for Jacob's 12 year, he went to Cooperstown. Because um, he was playing on another team, and he did the whole Cooperstown. And when he got off the plane, and picked, I picked him up, he's like, I quit baseball. Why? And I was like, the we coach, weren't there. We weren't there. I, I couldn't get off. Um, and he was playing for the uh, Shaw Park Legends, and they uh, were playing a team that was ranked like seventh in the nation. Yeah. And they were down like 12 to, 12 to nothing. He goes in in the fourth inning, and he pitches three shutout innings. He struck out six, he walked three, and each kid he walked, he walked a kid in an inning, he picked them off. 
Yeah. So, you know, he was he was ecstatic. Even though the team lost, it was a personal win, you know, for him. For him. He was he was elated, you know. Yeah. And the coach looked at him and said, doesn't matter what you did, we still lost. Doesn't matter. Oh, jeez. And it just just crushed him and the other coaches like he got in town and he called me and said is that really out real quick one out um yeah one out. they'd ask me first thing i'll be right back uh, two outs now <coughs> but yeah he, he he was he got back and said i'm done i quit you get out here and enjoy this game and you know these ages and you get up and then you get to high school and then you come back <laughs> Yeah, we've got a neighbor kid that plays on the high school team. And, no. <laughs> you know, anytime we got the pitch, it's an excuse or. You tell them go to sleep. Well, like, okay, it's a booster club experience. That's all it is. Yeah. It should be fun. Ski mask when uh -huh. he goes in the store, and you know, and then they 
they've got about three. The Spanish tape. Then the Spanish tape where they're traveling, and he's mm -hmm. like, what is this? You know, he's like, oh, man, come on, seriously? <laughs> and then they get out of the car, and they're, they're yelling at each other in Spanish. <laughs> You know, Budweiser continually does those emotional ones oh, where, you know, I mean, they're always, you expect that from them, but, yeah. you know, innovations from the other people. You remember the Jeff Gordon commercial, Pepsi Max, when he drove the Camaro in the park? They made another one because a lot of people said it was fake. Uh, and uh, it's a, like a full two-minute clip. I mean, we watched it. I mean, it is. He dressed up as a cab driver, and he, uh, you, know, a con a, you know, posed as a convict convicted felon. One of the guys was a uh, automotive journalist who bashed him, saying the video was fake and they couldn't believe Jeff would do something like that. Blah 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 blah. And he just, you know, so Pepsi decided, well, let's get in, let's get his friend, let's get his schedule, let's fly him down here and tell him he's here for a special conference that doesn't exist and he's got to be hush hush, so he can test drive a new Z06 and. So they souped up a, one of the new Chevy, uh, it's not the Impala, but the new one that's got like 300 horsepower. Mm -hmm. And they made it a taxi and they put some modifications to give it more horsepower so, you know, Jeff could slide it and do everything. Right. Oh, it is he hilarious. He gets pulled by the cops and then Jeff takes off when the police And the guy's like panicking, no sir, stop, sir. He's like, get me out of here. Sir, <laughs> no. Then he pulls into a warehouse after doing a bunch of like, you know, drifts and stuff, and he's like, do you believe it's real now? The guy's like, yeah. yeah. And then Jeff's like, you want to go for a ride? Yes, let's go. <laughs> Although the, the Earnhardt was pretty good. Oh, the Mountain Dew? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? That's my wife's in my Earnhardt call. I went the duck going. But I think my all-time favorite is still the Darth Vader kid. Oh, I'm trying to think. What about that little where he, he goes, and his dad's going through the Oh, uh, the yeah. <laughs> I think it's Volkswagen. It's got the commercial, too, where the, good, oh, where the dad is um, throwing baseball with his kid. He's <laughs> <laughs> exactly <they're> identical. <laughs> good job, good job. <laughs> just like me. <laughs> um, oh, The ground. Jacob will almost got there to catch it and they fall. <coughs> I can't believe he made it there before it's there. <laughs> no, he's trying to find something. Yeah, he's our our son. He's always, you know, he's always been fast. So every, everywhere he goes, somebody will want to race him and say, mm. you know, I'm fa I'm faster than you. All right, whatever, you know. Mm. He had a kid at school. They must have raced three times, and then each time he'd beat the kid, and, and the kid would go, "Oh, I didn't get a good job." Oh yeah. And I'm like, look, that's when you just quit racing him, you know. It's like if he's not going to catch you, then don't worry about it. My older son was like that in football. There, the coaches would always line up the fast, the fastest kids, and they can never beat him. Yeah. <laughs> but they would keep put the stopwatch, line them up, and then finally one guy said, "I don't mean anything bad." Oh. That's awesome. He said, "I don't mean anything bad about it." He said, "Yeah." <laughs> Well, that's like, you know, there, he's, he's raced several black kids and not one to beat him, but... And, it, you know, his other team, the Eastside Tigers, he'll run, he'll race. They'll line up at home, and the whole team, they'll just line up on him and then take off. And, uh... And running is such a psychological thing. And, uh, you don't put that in the equation, but there, there's, a, there's a... I'm looking at you, and... And everybody says you're the fastest, but I think I'm faster than I beat you. And it's a sight break thing. You, can, right. you break the other guys, what happens. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Your body stands still. <laughs> Oh, there's 
tell it's early in the year because there's usually not that many fans out for the first game early yeah, in the morning. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I think the River Bats played with us twice yeah, they last did. year. Actually, they did. No, they did four tournaments out there. Four? Yeah. Four. Sorry, I'm sending an email for work. They, uh, Yeah, I think they did four tournaments out there. Get up, get up, get up! This is old school. Yeah. Tell you what's amazing though is uh They drop three and beat four back. Yeah. They have the ones you don't see anymore. Oh, I know. Yeah. That's as close, <laughs> it's close to a little bat. I think there was one hit here last year. The year before, there was probably 100. That's great. Huh. Here we go. Go. We have 10 a turn. Wow. I mean, they don't hardly even get close to the warning track. Yeah, it's, and they're, they're so expensive. Yeah. Well, the game is, is being played right now because the colleges are looking for outfielders, fundamentally sound players that can run, chase down the ball to the gap. Hit singles and doubles consistently yeah. because uh, it's a false sense of it who is. these kids are when they're using those hot bats and boom, right. boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And the kids don't want to play the game because. But the era of the big kid hitting home runs is about over. Do you know how the standing page works on the website? 
Um, it's going to give you real time who is first, second, third, fourth. Okay. Then the run differential is the tiebreaker on head or if teams are tied one and one or two and zero. Or I had to bring a partner with it. Yeah. <laughs> I told him we were talking. I'm like, it's too cold to be sitting outside. It's cold. I'm sick of being cold with baseball games. He was at Lambert last night in the cold play yeah. game. Well, it snows over there. <laughs> made it back. Yeah. Who'd you guys play? Oh, I played my son plays for Walton. So uh, we lost to Lambert. That was our first loss. Lambert's good. Yeah, Lambert's good this year. They're not. They beat us ten to one. They're not ten to one better than us. But we're just not hitting the ball. It's one to one in the fifth inning. And that's what your son said. He was like, "That's what Sean said." He said, "As soon as you guys played us and hit that, like we're hitting like that." He goes, "We ain't hit since like that since then." We're not hitting. He goes, so baseball starts 30 days too soon. Yeah, the yeah, they shouldn't start playing games. It it's crazy. It's, it's over about spring break, unless you're in the playoffs. Yeah. And uh, there's no reason they couldn't play in May. We had first and second, nobody out in the first inning. Then we hit into a freaking double play. We had first and third in the third, same hitter up. Number three hitter is going to Georgia. He hits a line shot. Right at the second baseman, easy double play. Like, just, it's about to hit again already? Just not your night. Uh-oh. So I guess pitching is either going to be true for that new kid. Number 20. As I was saying, it's either going to be him or... I think that's true. I don't true. think Troop's going to pitch because his arm was bothering him last week, I think. I think it's better. He stretched it out that night. He ended up throwing through the whole practice. Yeah, I think Troop's going to hit with another kid. We got that 1-1 one, one new kid that's playing with us till April. He plays with the Diablos. Bigger. Mm -hmm. Trouble. <laughs> I mean, you know what Marietta used to do? You know how the games were normally over by like 8? Yeah. If, if they had a bad game, they'd stay until 10 o'clock at night practicing afterwards. Yeah, they need a day off. They've, first of all, they played Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. You know. Tuesday night, we play at Mountain View, which is like an hour away. They get home at like 11.15. They got to turn around and play Pope Wednesday in free, freezing cold weather. I practice for three and a half hours Thursday and Friday. Boy, hit the fifth. Huh? Is he in fifth? Fourth. Fourth? 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 Yes, like, coaching us. What am I batting fourth? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what Jay told me. Because he had a long double last year? I guess. He's, 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 he's strong. He's like, I put him in the fourth hole when he comes up to me. What am I here for? Oh, I was laughing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 You know what it is? They have that, they have that superstition where they just think the four hole is, you get all these crazy pitches and you don't need to be there. Because my son hits really well. He's hit the ball hard all year, and they put him at the four spot one game, and he struck out both of bats. He's like, I don't want to be there. And he struck out. You know, it let him beat on the spot and beat him. You're only there for one at bat. That's what I told him. I said, then you're in the middle of the game somewhere. <laughs> He's like, I just hate the four hole. I'm like, dude, get out of here. What were you thinking, huh? Yeah, and that's what I told him. I said, man, you let the spot beat you. Why did you get Yeah. So that's what I told Nate. I was like, dude, you don't let, the, you can't let the spot beat you today. <laughs> you just gotta go out there and hit. How does Brayberry do this week? Play. 
Um, we played Lasseter. You beat him? Three to two, but that was the worst game ever. Lasseter's not very good this year. No, but it was like the worst game. Like we had like three errors. They scored like two runs in the first inning off three errors. We scored two runs. No, one run at the bottom of the first off of like an error. We scored one run at the bottom of the second with an error. Then we scored another one in the bottom of the third with an error, and then the game did, that was we good. ended three two. Nice, good three. Who's doing Game Changer for us? I don't know. It's getting done. Somebody's doing it. Oh, the coach in there. Oh, is he? He sits in there and he has his tablet flopped over the little thing and he does his tablet. Oh. Going on. He was trying to record it, so he's got me recording the rest of the game. Oh, Jeff's doing it. Yeah. They have sweet uniforms though. Yeah. That, that dark gray, have you seen them yet? Yeah. No. That all, it's all dark gray and it's got like a moon stripe. That's pretty cool looking. There you go. Seven guys from my son's presentation two years ago. They seem to hit fairly well. They just booted a lot of balls. Like we scored two runs. Actually, no, we did score two runs one inning, so it was only all the score was done in two innings. There was a man on sec first and second. You know, the ball was hit. I don't know if it was going out at first, like there was an out at first and they were going home at third, but however it was, the ball was going to third and the ball sailed so far away, hit the fence and rolled that we scored two runs on it. You know, so there was a dumb thing they did. Is your son playing? Yeah. Oh, cool. We just got, we just became eligible against Lasseter, but he didn't play that game because they were prepared to play without him. So he was playing today. Yeah. Are you, what time's your game today? One, I'll have to miss it. I'll be here wondering all this. So I told my wife to give me updates. Aren't they on Game Changer? I don't think they do. They're on Game Changer, but I've never seen anybody do it. Whenever I try to find it, no. I can find the school, but there's no games. I was like, just let me know how it does. I said, I guess we'll all come back here if for some reason we stay. I just hope we shut this team out so we can get them. They were selling, the owner of the store was selling drugs in the store. Where at? Um, the, I, I'm not making this up, but the name of it is Hood Mart. On the National Highway. No, what kind of drugs can we buy? Let's go. <laughs> Apparently none now. It's all the jail. <laughs> Hood Mart? I kid you not, Hood Mart. We've seen it. Yes, I know it's we've down seen on it. The it's left. down on the left. Yeah, that's, I was we go down there to Old National uh, to buy clothes. They got them all down there. And the last time we were there, like, it, it was crazy. That security guard came running with guns and they're just walking around nonchalant and like, but hey, they have, like, gotta go. They have jackets for like 30 bucks. I don't know they got good deals at this place. Yeah, yeah. True Religion jeans are 30. I mean, it's. North Face shoes, Nikes, like Nike Air Maxes are forty dollars. I mean, My cologne that I wear is normally like three hundred something dollars, and the fair for fifty. So, and you can't tell the difference. Get some crystal yeah. meth and some weed uh -huh. down the street too. Oh yeah, you can get it all. Clothes. Drugs. <laughs> Girls, you just tell us what you need. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's great. I mean, you know, if he owned the store, you know, they're gonna, he's gonna lose it. Like, it's gonna be seized. That's what they do, they ring you up and like, you want some crack with this order? Yeah. I'm a Diet Coke, a pack of smoke, some crystal meth, and uh, I was at, I was at the Quick Trip on uh, Buford Drive. Right there at nine, what is it, nine eight nine eighty five or whatever it is? Yeah, that quick trip right there. And there was a guy there, and um, he had just right when I pulled up, he had walked up and asked somebody, you know, you got any money, so I can get something to eat. So I said, here, I got half of a sandwich left, and they gave it to him. And he's walking through the parking lot, and I don't think he saw me, saw him, but he's taking like 
picking a tomato out, throwing it down on the ground. Yeah. You know, picking a lettuce out, throwing it on the ground. Like he and he walks and he hides the sandwich and he comes right back. And he walks up to my truck and goes, "Excuse me, can I get some money for some meat?" I go, "Go get your damn sandwich and just put it over there." I said, "That's a joke." I said, "Don't don't keep harassing people for money." I said, "We're not going to support your habit." And he just walks off, goes right to the next car. No, they get pissed because I had a guy ask me for money for something to eat before, and I was like, "Well, I'll buy you something, yeah, and you can eat it." And he's like, "I don't want you to buy me something." And yeah. I'm like, "Well, I thought you were hungry." Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in the hood in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I just don't talk to any of those guys because yeah. 99 percent of them are so full of crap. Well, you well know, I try to hide from them, but when they chase you down yeah. to your car, like I literally had a guy at one of the quick trips off on. Um, the 120 loop. He, mm -hmm. he sprinted after me. I left the store and he was behind me. He's like, Mister, Mister, like four times, and I started walking fast. And he started running. <laughs> I had a guy one time years ago. I was probably 19 or 20, and I was working for Bell South, and part of our area was um, Fulton Industrial. So, oh, they okay? No. They were running hard. God. I haven't had They both dove for that. 13U, we had left fielder and center fielder running to each other. I run out there and. One's holding the center hand. Center fielder's one's yeah. leg was like. In the other direction? Oh my God. It was. You know, and I'm, I'm moving, I got a towel, and I'm like holding the leg together. And the paramedics come, she goes, You. You need to get out of the way. I go, I'm freaking holding his freaking leg together. Yeah, yeah if I let go, his legs like, were, half his legs would be on the no, freaking no, grass. Like I was holding no, that's what I'm saying. It together. I mean, it was like. That's what I'm saying. She's telling you to leave her alone. It's like, if I let go, half of it's going to be on the field. She's like yelling at me. I'm like, I'm, I'm doing good here. I've been holding it for 10 minutes. Yeah, they, the guy, on, the one time at Fulton Industrial, he's like, you know, sir, you know, can I, you know, you have some dollars, some, some food? And I said, I'll, I'll go get some. I'll go down to McDonald's. And he looked and goes, oh, well, thank you, thank you. He, and he goes, you know what? There's an Arby's right there. It's right, you're so much closer, you ain't got to go out of your way. And I'm like, yeah, you want Arby's? Well, I'll, I'll get you, you know, if you want food, I'll get you food. And he goes, thank you. So I went and got him like five roast beef sandwiches, a couple drinks, yeah. you know, and brought it back. He's like, oh, thank you, thank you, you know. But, you know, you get people when you tell them, I'll get you something to eat, and then they get mad. Yeah, you know like, they're, you they're really now. hungry when, they, they, you know they're not hungry when they don't want to take your offer to buy them food. Yeah. Then you're like, okay, yeah, you're hungry for something other than food. Yep. Hungry for some drugs. I mean, I had a guy one time, you know, same time I worked at Bell South, and, you know, because I covered Ben Hill, the West End. You know, full industrial. I mean, you know, not good areas. And the guy goes, uh, he comes up to me and it's right when the payphone went to 35 cents. And he goes, Sir, sir, you know, do you have a quarter? I, I, I need to, you know, all I got's a dime and I need a quarter to make a phone call. And I said, Yeah, no problem. I give him a quarter. He jumps right back in his car and goes right across the street to the shore. I was like, they, uh, After that, I said, No, never again. I don't care if it's a penny. No, we had that happen in Florida, and we didn't see him go to the liquor store because it wasn't right there, but there's a Burger King across the street from Walmart, and then there was like a regular store, you know, like shopping center, a little bit up the road where you can buy alcohol, mm -hmm. and he took the money, I gave him money, he's like, I'm going to go get Burger King. He walked across the street where Burger King was, and then took a left. <laughs> so I'm like, obviously you're not going to Burger King, dude. Yeah. It's like you said, so that's when I stopped. When I had that happen to me, I'm like, you know what, I ain't never giving anybody any money. Yeah. I would buy them something to eat or drink if they need it, but I'll never give them money. Yep. That's, that's exactly what I did. I always get the people that are pulled off on the side of the road and try to fly you down and tell them that they're calling a tow truck and they just need some cash. They don't have enough money. You know what? I would never do that because in Titusville where we lived in Florida, and we didn't even live in a bad place, there was someone that pulled over, acted like they needed help, and the girls did. The girl, and there was someone in the back, and as soon as they got there, they killed that. They killed the person that took their car. There was a guy that got caught. So I'm like, I would never pull any. If someone's pulled over holding their sign, I'll ride right by them. That's a shame you can't pull over and help people, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, I'm not a, trying to die. There was a, um, on 400, there was a guy that pulled over, uh, or there was a BMW that crashed, and he watched the crash. This was Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, Thursday, Thursday morning, and he stopped to help the guy. You know, sir, do you need any help? Yeah. The guy gets out of his wrecked BMW and walks right up. He steals his car? And walks right up and says, with a gun, 
give me your key, keys now. And they, you know, the guy said, sure, take it. And the cops got there, searched the car, and there were like guns, rifles, machete. Oh, that, uh, no, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I don't ever stop and help anybody. I'm not, I'd like to live to see another day, not... If the guys that own the car, I mean, the, the car wasn't stolen, but right. Yeah. They know who it is. I'm like, how, how stupid that's can stupid. you be? Well, bad, most bad people aren't real bright anyway. And then there's... You know, it's scary because I, I was, I'm that type of person, really. If I see you on the side of the road, I would love to, especially girls that don't know what they're, I would love to help you change your flat tire. Yeah. But after you've seen what happened, I'm like, I'm not trying to get jumped by a guy you have hiding in the woods. Yeah. So now you need to figure out how you're going to change the tire and get out of here by yourself. If they're not elderly, I don't stop. I helped a lady on 285. I mean, she, I, she had a flat tire and she was just in distress. It's like bad traffic. No one's stopping to help her. So I changed her tire. I, mean, I don't know what she would done. She's trying to call people, no one, you know. Well, I mean, that's the thing. A lot of people don't realize if you're on the interstate, all you gotta do is hit star five, five, or whatever, and hero talk comes. Right, yeah. You know, their, their response time was under like 10 minutes. You know, if you call them. I mean, because they're constantly controlling. Driving, yeah. Yeah. That's a dangerous position of hero drivers. They've had like three of those guys killed the last few years, just from people doing stupid shit and running into them. Mm -hmm. I mean, that scares me. I got a flat tire on, um, on 85 and I had to pull over to the side and I thought I was going to die. I mean people were driving like the cars rocking in the wind. Oh, yeah. I'm like the jack's going to fall on me, the car's just going to crush me. I'm like dude this is scary as hell. Mm -hmm. You're only this far away off the street so. People are supposed to get over in that second yeah. lane too and nobody does that. You know they're, they're, you're only this far off the road so it's like all it does take one little swerve and you're getting smashed. Your car's getting smashed and you're probably going to be under it and with it. Yeah I mean I, I my, my, uh, my best friend he and I have worked together Ever since since 1999, that was the very first day I started at Bell South. You can't have that white glove on the pitch. No, he's got to take it off. I'll say so. From up here. I I, when I was coaching, I'd always wait till he threw a couple of pitches and then walk out and be an a-hole and say, hey, yeah. just to throw them off. Yeah. Well, I had one kid pitching last year. He had a white wristband on. He came in from the infield, and I go walk. I stop the game and uh, you know another coach I'm fucking run out like I I'm like it's against the freaking rules. You know. I hate that because the other coaches distracting. would come out and act like baby like you're being a baby like, well, oh, I, had, I, I, sent, I had to send Jeff a um, a text when they you know they brought in that pinch runner because it wasn't last batted out and I'm like, hey, I'm not trying to be a coach, I'm not trying to do anything, but what are the rules for pinch runners? Because that kid's not last batted out. And he sent me a text back and said, Yeah, it's uh they've got they're using true subs. Hey, Blue. 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 He's wearing a white glove. White glove. You gotta get one picture. Very freaking distracting. Diamond Sports Nation. Maybe you can do that. You know, sometimes tournaments are different with different people. No, I know you can't, can, but can it? Yeah, they can't have a white glove, can they? No. Yeah, no, batting glove. Underneath the world. Yeah. No, you can't, you can't, it's a, it's, no, I don't think you it's can't have anything on your hand or wrist when you're pitching. You have to have, you can't See, have anything on I was saying, on. this is a different, that's the director especially, guy. This is a different term. I've noticed that a lot of different tournaments you go to, there's different roles. But that, especially a white on black. These guys are schooled with high school rules, so they're going to allow them to high school rules. Yeah, but that's, that's against high school rules. Right, is that that one kid? I don't see that one kid playing, or is that him? Which kid? What's Count Blue? The kid that's going to go play, play for the Diablos. Uh, it was number 10 on the first guy. That's him that hit him. Yeah. Okay. That's the kid that just ran in. He took the brunt of that collision. Yeah. When he ran into the truth. Who was in that? Oh, Alfred Cyclone. Is Wynn still whipping? Was that one of those homeschool things? Alfred Cyclone to turn field? Hey, that, that's what that league, that home, like whatever that league is, like the East Cobb Academy and they yeah. play in that league. They get to go play in the, either the Brave Stadium or the well, Stadium. The field. Well, I think they're playing a Cool Ray field. Yeah. 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 Y
That's Last cool year, the one team uh, I knew get on, uh, they played the turn the field. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Over spring break. I bet you they didn't do it this year, Marietta High School, because they're really bad. But they have them. Um, the high schools can play there too. Because last year we played Alpharetta there. Oh, that's cool. We played Alpharetta at Turner Field. Like, I can't believe they're tearing down Turner Field whenever they could use it for so many like sporting and baseball events, concerts, whatever to make in, make revenue. Well, I want to develop it. Well, yeah, but did you hear what they're going to develop it? They actually think wealthy people are going to want to work there? I mean, see, in all honesty, when... Who's when, going to want to live a block from crack houses? Yeah. I don't even want to, like, when you have to park down further from... The they're going to develop the old tur the Turner Field? Yeah. Yeah, I thought they said they were knocking it down. They're, they're they are. They're going to develop into, Oh, yeah, they're going to develop the area. Yeah, they're, they're talking about, like, half a million dollar, like, condo living. I'm like, who? Right that doesn't make sense because the whole reason the Braves want away is because there's a lot of hood hats around the outsides and yeah. they're yeah. bothering the customers. And you can't develop the area. Yeah, and, and they're bothering the customers, but then yet you're going to put a house together. You know what I mean? Do what? They'll have a new mayor by the time that decision is made. But you know what I mean? It's like they're, there's talk about the when you go to park, all the hoods and everything else, and then they're going to build half a million dollar, million dollar homes there. Yeah, which is his response to screwing up and letting them leave. Somebody was saying, well, why is it Cobb? You know, they're arguing. I go, you know what? Every major league ballpark you go to around the country, you can go to a nice restaurant. There's hotels around. Yeah. And here, you fear for your freaking life walking to the, walk in the parking lot. Yeah. I guarantee yeah. you that, that over the years they've done just a study and where the majority of the fan base comes from to go to. Yeah, yeah I saw that now. That's what right. they did. I mean, yeah. Well, it's crazy. It's all in the north. It is kind of scary because I was driving through and you know, on the, you start getting sometimes it's like bumper to but you're barely moving. And there was guys wanting to sell me parking passes and they were kind of really shady and it was crazy. And the one guy's wanting to sell it to me for over face value. And all of a sudden his friend like throws him out the way and has his arm all in my car going, I'll give it to you for this price. And then he pushes him and he's like, you know, what are you trying to steal my deal? And I almost had like, a gunfight, you know, right here at my car window. Yeah, well, what screwed up? And I got my you, kids in the car. Yeah, what screwed up is when you go to leave and they've got you routed and where you have to go through parts of the town. Yeah, that, you yeah. know, you hadn't planned on going through. Ever. Then try to find. And they always shut on. this exit down. They're this entrance down, which is the easiest way to get. And then they make you go all the way up it. here and then all huh? the way to the right. Yeah, through the hood. It's. Well, we were leaving there two years ago, and our family left in like the seventh game. inning. The First game was a blowout, yeah. and it was a school night. So I'm walking right. up here. This freaking like homeless guy like gets in my face and asks me for money. I'm like, uh, you know, I, you know, I don't got any money for you. And he like leans into me and yeah. like, well, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, just, I just picked him up and took him down. I don't know what he was going to do. Oh, no. I mean, he's in my face, yeah. then he bumps yeah. into me and like, leans into me and asks me for money. I go, I've been in martial arts for years. Yeah. I think I have like two seconds and my foot on his throat. He's like, yeah, I'm the police. I'm like, I'm the police. Tell him to come. Police come over. Police come over. I'm like, uh, yeah, like just go. Yeah, like I said, the dude was in my car, literally like at his waist, halfway hanging through the car. Over Zach, my older one, trying to give me, talking to me, selling tickets. And all of a sudden, friends start fighting because it started with the friend wanting to give me a ticket. Another guy was standing there, and I go, I go, it's 20 bucks, you're trying to charge me 25. Blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, push him away and lean to the car, like, I'll give it to you for 15. Under my And next thing you know, the dude was pissed because he tried to steal a sale. And next thing I know, they're fighting, like hanging in my car and trying to fight each other. I'm like, if the road was clear, I'd have just stole his ticket and haul butt. Just took it right out of his hand. You know, for all the hassle they were giving me, fighting in my car, fighting over his neck. I was like, for now on, I'm riding with the windows up, and I'm never, while well, I'm going down the street, they're never coming down. Well, years, years ago, I was leaving the old Swede that it put in Kelly's tent, and I was single. I don't know if they don't care. Yeah. The mouth is. Did you make the, the, the rules? Yeah. Hey, so the, glove, the pitching gloves? States that the pitcher may wear it if the batter says he's not distracted. 
if the bat, unless if, if a batter complains, then you'll be able to take off. Yeah. 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 And so they did it anyway, and then the million guys banging on the thing, paying 20 bucks, and they're standing there falling off. This right in the skirt, I said, the one guy is not banging on the car. No, I agree because <laughs> it's like you said. What, I, mean, I, I know what these guys are going to do, you know? Because that's when we lived there before we moved. We lived there. Like, I thought we lived here before for a couple of years. Yeah, it was at the old stadium. And I actually, they, they, like, they, like you said, they give you the, they squeeze your window. And they want to charge you. It's like I never even asked for that. Well, they, they make it illegal finally. Uh, it's good because I mean, it they used to do that stuff with newspapers. Yeah, it got a little bit. I was out here last night. Um, you know what happened to my stepdad when they were up here once? They were walking on downtown at like late night, and a guy's like, Listen to this song, listen to this song. You know, whatever. And my, he, he wouldn't stop. He was bothered for like 10 minutes, my stepdad said, so he let. So to look, get the guy to leave him alone, he listened to the song for like 20 seconds. He's like, I don't like this music here. Well, he, then he's like, Well, that's 10 bucks to listen. I'm like, Those guys are crazy down there. Well, they have that thing, that knockout game now. They just, they just run up and, and call call pop people and punch them in the head and say they're not going to run up and run up. And it's a popular thing. And it's yeah, so it's like, I don't even want to be anywhere. I'm glad it's going to Cobb County. Well, yeah, I mean, do you There might be a little bit more traffic, but it's better than freaking being killed when I'm trying to get there. You got East Cobb baseball. You got all the perfect game fields being built over the next section. So it's going to be a baseball game. By the time they get oh, done. nice play. Nice play. A nice play. Oh, hell of a play there. Being interested to see how many of the existing employees go to the state. One down, Jay. I mean, their employees are just as rude. I got free. I mean, I'm not kidding. I got free. I bought tickets that were. One night we just went to see this game. We bought tickets in the nosebleeds. That's all that was available for under like 200 bucks when we got there. I got tickets to sit, I was right behind home plate where the little backs up, right there, when there was like six of us. Cause I went there, cause I have a bad back, I became disabled. So all I did was ask. I came through the gate and I tried to ask this guy where the thing was so I can get a cart ride back. Man, that dude was being the biggest ass ever. He was like going off, he tell me I'm not handicapped, I'm just going crazy. So I went to the window and I said, I don't, you know, I said, I don't care. I just want to inform you that this is what's going on. You know, I said, I just want to inform you that this is what's going on to the, with the employees. So we got little one Nate, and he's like, could you identify him? And they kind of went from the side, and Nate identified him. Not only did we get front seats, I got a signed Tim Hudson ball, a signed Brian McCann ball. In the little case. They were in a case and everything, and authenticated. So I got like, it was like a heck of a deal. I was, you know, I was like, oh, this is nice to get. But I was just trying to inform him, hey, you got some jerks working over there. You might need to go give them some, some lessons on how to be courteous to people. I'm like, what was the big deal if you just said, hey, it's right down there in the room, whatever, that's where you need to go. How hard, why argue with me and tell me that I'm not handicapped and blah, 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 and, and go off on me? You know, when they, when they first opened Turner Field, I had season tickets for about seven years ago, transposing over to Turner Field, and I had a fifth row, third base, yeah. side right at the end of the dugout, which pretty good seats because my kids got so autographs because the Disney teams are always the ones that sign. Yeah. The Braves never sign until they uh, bring the roster up at the end of the bring the bookies up and they yeah. let them sign a few over there except for Galarraga, he always signed. So anyway, <coughs> opening day, one of my vendors had some tickets on the first base side. So I gave my tickets to a buddy of mine, his kids. We're sitting right on the front line on the other side. We're sitting beside the guys like you and just start talking. And, so I had season tickets. My tickets aren't quite as good here as they were at Fort County. He just knows somebody who did this. He had kind of chuckle. He said, uh, remember when uh, the controversy with David Justice was going on? You know, about the fans? Yeah. Whatever? He said, well, me and my two buddies, we had our season tickets, and we called all the news stations and said, we're going to be here at such and such time. We're going to burn our tickets. Since Dan Caston shows up and goes, don't burn them, I'll take care of it in the new stadiums. <laughs> so they got good seats. They got the front row and the seats on the first row. Oh, it seems like the Braves are very, they're yeah. very open to hell. Yeah, it's a don't burn them. <laughs>
you know, their employees are just horrible. Yeah, but it's like they're some of their employees are just. But a lot of them are the food rats from around there. The only thing I thought was crazy that they were getting rid of it is when they were saying, you know, how it's like a model for 90% of the new stadiums that are built for all the other major league teams. Uh -huh. They use that model. And I'm like, so you got like a state-of-the-art stadium, and now you're going to knock it down. Yeah, yeah that doesn't, yeah, that's the point. But it's all about revenue and their deals up. So well, if you think about it, all of a sudden in the past couple of weeks they signed Campbell and Simmons and Freeman and Hayward <clears throat> a little bit and blah yeah. blah blah getting get ready for the new stadium, but you saw who just bought Tom Warner, didn't you? No. Comcast. I, like, I don't know if they're thinking, all right, here goes the payroll gonna get a chance to get up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, well they're planning on that new revenue to and then fill that gap in two well, days. I, I bet you they're going to get more fans. They're going to be the Yankees in the South. You have to get off the hip pocket a little bit. You know, but from where they're at, they're going to get, going to that new place in Cobb, there'll be a lot more seats filled than what gets filled now. What do you think they when they were on their run in the 90s, they, you know, they had their farm club, had all these good little rookie players in yeah. there, but they would bring in a Sheffield or a Galarago yeah. or a Griff, you know, we haven't yeah. seen that. In a while. In a while, you know. But we're gonna bring in that big guy that you know, gives you know, they brought in they brought in the Uptons and the one stuck up the field so bad it wasn't even funny. Upton the Ugla, Ugla and then They're saying you Upton's hitting the ball I mean, really well in spring training. I, I guess they they redid like six for six or something Ugla? like that. Yeah. yeah. and they said Justice is I mean not Justice Upton is um they did some hitting work and he worked a lot in the offseason on his hitting. They said he's doing a lot better. Yeah, BJ's hitting the ball, I mean you know, it's scary yeah, because yeah. Ugla hits, what, 150 and yeah. still hits 20-something home runs? If he can hit 280, he's going to hit 40 home runs. If he can hit Easily. 250, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, he's going to hit, I mean, I think I think Ugla's going to hit, you know, at least 30, 35 home runs. we got to have Upton hit, though, because that's a big waste of money if you don't hit it. Well, think about Ugla, though. All the home runs and the walks, but the average is down. He most of the time struck out swinging. Yeah, no, he did. Upton struck out most of the time. Look at But that's why I think it was Ugly's eyes because yeah. his, his his selection of where the pitch is was never, he didn't swing at bad pitches. No. Because he walked so much. So it just, his, I think it's his vision. Maybe it took a little while to get saying? your depth perception from that yeah. surgery or whatever. But well, you know, if it, Upton doesn't do it, that's a huge waste of money for Upton. Because how yeah. much did they give him? Well, you got to put him in the 60, in the lineup 60 million basketball. over four years. Yeah, so for 60 million bucks, like you said, he's got, but he's got to be in the lineup. Yeah. But you know what, though? 50 million a year for Upton? Isn't that bad? Now, yes, he stunk it up last year. It's bad if he don't play for the next six years or four years. I, I don't think that, I don't think that he's going to, you know, he's going to have another bad season. He's too, you know, he's been too consistent through his career, you know. With all those new contracts, they were saying, you know, we, we there's one out. We um, just ended this yeah, era with, with Chipper and Ken and Hudson yeah. and those guys. That the bulk of the payroll was fifty-five million dollars on the ones they got signed. Yeah. And they move into the two, the new stadium in 2017 for like fifty-eight million with the group they just signed. So they're still right on track with that core yeah. pricing. I think they got to start picking up. You know, just yeah, they gotta pick up another. But they've done the shortstop really. I like who they ended up getting, like using, because at first they were using that one guy. Who was his name? Papernicki or Papernicki? Uh, Tyler Pasternicki. Pasternicki. I never thought he was better than Simmons ever. And I they were trying him, and I was like, you're just, this is a stupid move. I was glad to see Simmons got in there. It's one and two. Yeah, I hit the ball, but I didn't necessarily. Yeah, I thought they were making a bad decision when they kept trying to play him. I was like, he's not that good. You know, he's good, obviously he's a pro, but he's not that good compared to other players that you have. Yeah, you know, some guys were upset when they traded uh, Escobar. You know, and nobody, you know. I like them having young guys. That means they're going to have, you know, they have an opportunity to have a squad for a long time. Yeah. At least another five years before they start letting them all go because they're getting older. Well, you know, if you look at who they have, like to me, Freeman reminds me of McGriff. 
and then you've got, you know, Uglo reminds me of Lemke because Lemke never really hit the ball. You know, Simmons kind of reminds me of a better version of Blouser. Yeah. Um, and then at third, you've kind of got a Terry Pendleton style. But, I mean, Chris Johnson last year, I mean, nobody. This guy wants to do it. Dude! He's going to go well. That center fielder don't miss anything. No. no. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. Um, I mean, they're young. I think they're young all around. Every yeah, position. Yeah. Younger team in this one. You know, the Uptons are young. Hayward's young. Freeman's a young guy. I think BJ's 31. So I mean, they're. Yeah. I mean, baseball players play to the damn 40. They hate football. Yeah. <laughs> well, average NFL career is 2.5 years, so. So I'm saying this ain't football where people. Well, that's the corner deli right up here. We stopped by there, and they're actually related to the owner of Bagelicious and East Cobb. But the the uh, older gentleman, that I think the Semaine owner, he was telling me he played for the Eagles in 1955, mm -hmm. and he has his contract that he signed on the wall. Five hundred dollars. Fifty-five hundred dollars. <laughs> well, and these guys all had to work second jobs. I mean, yeah. football was sort of a Fall sideline, you know. Yeah, it was like an activity. But yeah. he yeah. had so, so so the usual. Those guys in that era, that's the only insurance. Well, yeah. the uh, rookie that the Ravens, uh, the first round pick, the 30th pick or 32nd pick that they signed, he um, he's working a uh, summer job. Like he's got a job at the mall as a uh, as a uh, sales rep for a shoe cut, shoe store. And everybody's like, "Why are you working that?" He's like, "I got to stay busy. I can't, you know." <laughs> He don't have the money to stay busy. Oh, you got four million dollars up front. Yeah, that's, yeah, they got enough money. Yeah, but that's the way these guys spend. They probably own their house and a couple cars. He don't have a lot of money to be just blowing around town. Yeah, anymore. like Richie Incognito, he just took a baseball bat to his Ferrari. I, I thought that was insane. Yeah, but now he's in a mental home. Yeah, <laughs> they finally got him and locked up in a mental home. Well, he's always been my crazy boy. since college. They need a new flag out there, man. Yeah. yeah. It's like the Evil Jim flag or something. Did you see the story about the uh, garbage man that went to somebody's house and they had thrown away their flag and the garbage truck had a camera on it and the, the guy like took the flag, folded it military style and put it back on the porch. And uh, the neighbor like saw it and called corporate and said, hey, you know, the, he really did a very nice thing here. Oh, sure. And um, it, it eventually went viral. And, I mean, you, you gotta burn a flag if you're gonna throw it out. And that's what you're supposed to do. Probably yeah. Probably dispose of it. And if if y'all, uh, uh, Jeff Gordon did another Pepsi Max commercial. Yeah, I saw that. Did you saw the new one on the oh, car? Yeah. Oh, that was funny. Put the guy in the taxi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a taxi driver now. Yeah. yeah. Well, the guy, the guy did, was calling it a fake, saying that Jeff Gordon didn't do it. You know. That was too, um, it was too, too, you know, to look too fake, you know, and the guy was an automotive journalist. So they told him he was coming down to drive a Z06, a special Z06, and it was a secret. And he couldn't tell anyone. If he told anyone, he'd ruin the whole project. So they went to pick him up in the cab, and they had and Gordon, Gordon was dressed, like, you know how they can do that fake stuff. They made him look all different than Gordon. Gave him a tattoo he on his neck. He was a taxi driver. He was a, just got out of a 10-year stint in prison. and. <laughs> So, it was hilarious. They pretended to get a, a cop to pull him over and then he decided he couldn't go back to prison so he took off and <laughs> slide through all these sliding through the parking lot. And, and he's in the back, the guy's in the back, you know, you have the taxi window. He's trying to kick the window down yeah. and tell him to stop, please stop. Sir, please, no, sir. Oh man, I, I laugh. And then we, I thought it was funny when they pulled in the garage, it's Pepsi Max and confetti coming down. That's six and pictures of kids two and a half. And they asked him, said Jordan or Gordon said, Do you wanna go for another ride? He goes, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Cincinnati. Yeah, because the team we're playing next could be pretty good. Jags? Yeah, because what I was told is they don't... Right now, a lot of kids, you know, they're like Tiger team. They're really good Hello. team, the Tigers, and... What part of will be home is you You know, the Tigers and yeah. what, the Cougars? Cougars are always number one. Well, what they have is... Those two teams are like their A team right. and B team, and they're a lot of their kids play high school. Well, so then when they so play, they, chores. I know they send emails out asking whoever's the best one to come play. So then they got some kids from the so Tigers, they got some from the Cougars. I mean, and then they, so towards the Jaguars, do not call a bunch of other people. See you You know, so if they're doing that, they could have a pretty good team out here. Oh, I guess I should stop this.